My name is Dr. G.K. Rath. I am presently the head of the National Cancer Institute, which is coming up in Jhajjar, Haryana, under AIMS, and working in all Indian medical sciences right now. All the Asian countries have problems which are similar in nature. For example, in cancer, the common cancers found in Asian countries are tobacco-related cancers, like cancer of the mouth, pharynx, larynx, throat, and lung and infection-related cancers, like cancer of the uh, cervical uh, uh, uterine cervix and uh, cancer of the stomach. These are the common cancers which the Asian countries face. And not only this problem, but uh, most of the Asian countries face with another problem, that is the stage at which patients comes is relatively higher than the West. So there is a need to find out the plus and minus points of our region and to collaborate so that we can give and take the knowledge which we have between each other, share the knowledge, share the information, have some common research protocols and train our students accordingly. In our country, the cancer education and research is uh, going on at a very rapid pace, particularly with the introduction of the national cancer control programs which is happening you know since uh, now we have the uh, in the 12th plan the cancer prevention and education have been given a lot of emphasis and institutions are being heavily funded for achieving these goals besides education we have also the system in which we try to impart education for human resource development in all sectors of cancer care, beginning from doctors, technicians, nurses, and other paramedical personnel. That's a very good question. National Cancer Institute is the only institute which is coming up in India, and that is the largest funded institute so far in the country. It has a funding of 2,035 crores. It will be a translational research institute in which Indian problems will be addressed. We know that problems of cancer in the West are lung, breast, but not tobacco-related cancers or uh, cervical cancer. We'll be addressing mainly the India-specific cancer in the National Cancer Institute, in which we'll do work in relation to both bench type, bedside and bench, in which the doctors can collaborate with the basic scientist and come out with a particular solution. You will be happy to note that we have already signed a memorandum of understanding with the National Cancer Institute in US and we will be helping each other in a way that some of the cancers which are common to us are not found there and some of the cancers which are common there are not found here and we have already started collaborating and uh, the collaboration also includes collaboration inside the country like Indian Council of Medical Research, Department of Biotechnology and Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. And under this MOU, the joint research projects are being facilitated to focus on India's hereditary cancers. The education facility for cancer has taken off quite a bit since last 15 years. In cancers, the oldest therapy was radiation therapy, but of late, the education is being stressed on surgical oncology, medical oncology, and other branches of oncology like gynae oncology or uh, palliative care. These are the areas where we are giving stress because most of our cancers are preventable cancers. For example, tobacco-related cancers or infection-related cancers they can be eminently prevented. So we are concentrating on the education quite a bit and in this upcoming National Cancer Institute, we will be acting like a hub and try to incorporate all the leading cancer centers in this country so that not only research is done in one place but it's done in several places. Another thing which we have started doing is forming common protocols which are required for management in this country, like 
we cannot just blindly copy the Western protocols in any malignancy, in any type of cancer. So we are, under the Indian Council of Medical Research, made several groups to form protocols as is required for the Indian circumstances. Regarding research and training, let me tell you that uh, the leading cancer centers in this country, which includes us also, are doing a lot of research which are, uh, you know, common problem for our country. But we, we have to work a little more on the translational research side in which this uh, new National Cancer Institute will give a big fillip. We are going to start a new degree there, which is not there in the country right now, like MD-PhD or MCS-PhD or DM-PhD, in which we will produce a group of uh, professionals who are not only clinicians, not only basic doctors, but also are scientists, so that the same person understands the importance of both and can work in the lab as well as in the clinic or in the wards. Lot of work has been done already in this uh, regard. The work in genetics is going at, at a very, very fast space and uh, there the exact region of cancer and the genetic component of cancer, the genetic makeup of the cancer is being determined and there are many cancer today in which we are doing something called you know targeted therapy or personalized therapy for example in lung cancer if you have a particular gene positive then we give treatment you know focusing that in breast cancer if there is a certain marker like you know hard to new then we try to give a drug which is focused against that particular drug uh, one of the aim of the national cancer institute is to make affordable drugs, affordable equipments and affordable appliances and you will be happy to note that many of the state governments and uh, you know also in central governments you know the the effort is there to reduce the drugs recently a chain of uh, you know shops have opened medicine shops called Amrit where the patients get uh, substantial discounted medicine at uh, government outlets.